Hey guys, in the fast lane here. In this video, we're going to be talking about battery in car keeps draining, and I'm going to give you eight reasons why right after this. Now, nobody looks forward to a dead car battery, especially on hot or cold days when you really need the heat or you need the air condition. So, I put this together. Let's get started. Number one, loose or corroded battery connection. Loose or corroded battery connections can and will cause your battery to drain prematurely. This can happen when either your battery connections are loose, causing a short circuit, or when there is corrosion on the battery terminals causing a bad connection, which causes a short as well. Cleaning or replacing the battery terminals and placing anti-corrosion washer pads can eliminate the short. Number two, interior lights. Interior lights may be a no-brainer. However, there are three interior lights you may not be thinking about. The sun visor light, trunk light, and glove box light. These lights work off a switch. Sometimes the switch malfunctions, leaving the lights on even when the glove box and trunk is closed. Over time, this will completely drain your car's battery. This can be caused by the switch or the rubber grommet that activates the switch. Making sure the switch activates and deactivates properly can and will prevent your car battery from draining. Number three, brake light switch. A faulty brake light switch will definitely cause your battery to drain in a matter of hours. This can happen two ways. The first way is where the brake pedal grommet comes out causing the switch to go through the pedal without being pushed in. This leaves the brake lights on even when the pedal is not pressed. The other is when the brake light switch is damaged and needs to be replaced. Making sure your brake light switch functions properly and the grommet is still intact will prevent your battery from draining in the future. Number four, car stereo unit. Car stereos are tricky. Sometimes you will smell an electrical burning smell coming from the unit. Other times it will be completely dead, but don't let it fool you. It can very well be draining your car's battery and you won't even know it. In some cases, replacing your car stereo unit will eliminate the battery drain. Number five, not using your vehicle enough. This may sound like common sense, but letting your vehicle sit for months on end will without a doubt drain your car's battery. Leaving your vehicle parked for more than a week requires a battery maintenance charger. Hook up a reputable battery maintenance charger and let it maintain your battery. Always check the fluid levels inside your battery before using the maintenance charger. If fluids need to be topped off, use only distilled water. Number six, bad alternator. A bad alternator prevents your battery from recharging. Once your vehicle uses up the voltage inside the battery, it is no longer able to be restored. A alternator should be delivering to the battery terminals at least 13.5 to 15 volts at idle. If it's any lower, then the alternator needs to be replaced. Number seven, parasitic draw. Parasitic draw is when a component in the electrical system is causing a short circuit. This puts a constant load on the battery when the vehicle is off. To test for this, you will first want to make sure that your battery has at least 12.5 volts. First thing you want to do is make sure that the ignition key is off, all accessories are off, and all doors are closed. You will then disconnect the negative battery terminal and plug the black terminal into the COM port on the multimeter. The red probe gets plugged into the amp on the multimeter. Now you will place the red probe onto the black battery wire connector and the black probe to the black battery terminal. Selecting amps on an auto range multimeter will automatically select the correct setting. A manual range meter should be set from 2 amps to 200 milliamps. Give the vehicle about 5 minutes to sit, then begin testing. Anything over 50 milliamp for an older vehicle and 100 milliamp for a more digitally sophisticated vehicle indicates short circuit somewhere. Begin unplugging fuses one at a time. Once your reading drops below 25 milliamp, whichever fuse causes that to happen is the culprit. Repair or replace the electrical device that's causing the short circuit, and that should solve your battery drain issue. Number eight, bad battery. Sometimes it's just a bad battery. This can happen from a battery overheating too often, causing the lead plates to shift and the separators inside the battery to melt. This causes the lead plates to make contact with each other, creating a short circuit. Another way is a sulfated battery. This buildup of lead sulfate on the plates prevents the battery from recharging. Sometimes it can be recovered, but if it goes on too long, it becomes irreversible. When this happens, the only option is to replace the battery with the new one. Hey, if you liked the video, go give it a thumbs up, hit subscribe, and don't forget to click the bell. If you don't click the bell, you will not get notified of my future uploads.
The scripture verse for today is Psalms 84:11. For the Lord God is a sun and a shield. The Lord will give grace and glory, and no good thing will he withhold from them that walk uprightly. Now, I know it's been a rough year, and a lot of people have been going through a lot of difficult times. Maybe you've gotten a divorce. Maybe you're uh, in on the verge of a divorce, or maybe you just uh, maybe you just had some health problems or financial problems, or uh, you just you know you don't know why things are going wrong. But God promises that He is your sun and your shield, and that no good thing will He withhold from them that walk uprightly. It's always a, there's always a uh, a catch, not really a catch, but there's always a a requirement or a way that you can receive what you're asking for. So you have to be, in order to be available, you first have to be available. And how you do that is you walk uprightly. Now we're not perfect and we all sin, but I just want to encourage you that just keep on and don't let Satan get your life down because he will. And I found a lot of times Satan attacks those who he sees are really going to become something. He, he doesn't mess around with the people that don't really care about things of God. He doesn't mess with them. He wants them to forget about God. So he allows everything good and lots of good things to happen. And a lot of Christians maybe are looking at some situations of people that aren't saved or maybe just people that live not so good lives. And he sees that, uh, the person sees that they're just getting everything handed to them. Well, that happens a lot. And the people that are walking with God and really uh, dealing with some difficult times, I'd just like to encourage you just to keep on. And the real reason, I would say for sure, is Satan knows that you're a threat to his kingdom. We all know Satan. Uh, doesn't really have a kingdom. His kingdom's going to be hell. But uh, we know that where he's headed, he's trying to take as many people to hell with him. And he's trying to take away from God's kingdom. And that's the Christian's job to persevere, push on, get the gospel out there, and to make a difference in the world. That's my purpose as a Christian. And if you're a Christian, that's your purpose. So I would just like to take a moment and pray for you. Dear Heavenly Father, whoever's watching my video right now, Lord, I pray that you would work in their life, that you would show them the things that they need to see so that they can understand what they're up against. Lord, you know everything from the future to the past. You know what's going to happen in the next 10 seconds or 1,000 years. And that's why we have to read your word and follow uh, your guidance because you know all the answers, and we don't. So Lord, I ask that the people watching, Lord, that you would uh, work, work something in their life, Lord, for good. I know you use all things for good, but Lord, uh, use some good for good. You take a lot of bad and you turn it into good, but use some good for good, Lord. And I pray that you would bless their life, and I pray that they would understand that there are requirements in their life for them to obtain uh, your grace and your glory. So we pray all these things in Jesus Christ's name. Amen. Hang in there, guys. I'm always praying for you.